Hey guys, welcome back to another weekly grocery haul. We are newly back from vacation and I'm in the need of some food. Although I did leave some food at home for us. We've been home for a couple days, so we were able to get by, but it is time to head out. We're gonna go to Lidl and Aldi and see what we can find. All right, I'm at Lidl first and I'm checking out their mums. I don't think these are the ones I want. I have them on sale. Here we go. Buy one, get one free. Huh. I thought they were, I think they're $6.49 plus buy one, get one free, not $12.99. I'm not sure. I thought that's what the app said, so I'm gonna have to double check. They're, you know, not super bloomed yet, but that's okay. All right, I need to check the app real quick. All right, so these are the ones I saw on the app that I was thinking of. They're $4.99, buy one, get one 50% off. Um, I can find some good ones. Some of them are dry. If I can find some good ones, I'm gonna get a couple of these. All right, I really wanted the multicolor ones. The yellow ones like look better, but we're gonna go with these two, I think are pretty good. All right, didn't get very much at Lidl. Just grabbed a couple of sale items. We're headed to Aldi next. Into Aldi we go. First up, and the main reason I couldn't wait any longer to go to the store is English muffins, because I usually have these every day for breakfast. Looks like apples are the fruit on sale this week. Not the ones we gravitate towards the most, so let's see what else we can find. I do need bananas, if they have any good ones. I love these and thought I missed them all. Those are uh, only a summer season, summer thing. I'm getting all four of these. I usually stock up for the summer's out and I missed it, but then a few more showed up. They have a couple of different kinds, but this one is my favorite. We have slowed down significantly on cereal intake, but I'm gonna get one box of cereal and there is some granola at home as well. I'm trying to move quickly today, but I am gonna try to get to walk through the Aldi finds aisle because I have not been down there in a while. Or at least a couple weeks, I guess. All right, so my eyes are scanning. I don't see any red stickers over there for the meat. So we're gonna take a moment and go down the Aldi finds aisle and then we'll go back to food stuff. This all seems to be leftover stuff. Um, kind of a mess. Honestly, um, all the pet stuff. I mean, it's not the worst I've ever seen. Some more of these abstract pieces. The beaded garland could be pretty, but I do not care enough to spend $10 on that right now. They do have other kinds of the wood chain, the core pieces, the black, the wood, the white. More of these floral stems. I got them in the like fall colored ones, which it looks like they only have this eucalyptus left, but they're very nice. Not a bad price. All right, a lot of stuff that I've seen. The little slow cooker, a bigger slow cooker. Still that waffle maker, mocking me. Bread maker, also tempting. I don't make bread. We don't even need a lot of bread, but I kind of want to make bread. So therefore it's tempting. I mean, I'm not gonna do it, but. Cast iron skillet. I know that there's great things to be had for these things, but I don't feel like learning how to cook with one at this point, this season of life. I already know how to cook with the items I already use, so. Definitely some things marked down 
here and there, but let's go see if there's anything new. Hopefully I'm not making you guys too dizzy. Still really think these are pretty, but to find storage for me for like off season stuff like that, I just, I don't want to put in the effort to find a spot to store them. All right, let's see here. We've got bath bomb, bath and shower bomb kits for $6.99. Cute idea, little craft organizer. Scissors, little accent cabinet. Looks like the height of like a side table. It's cute. Not anything I'm needing. I think this one is $24.99. And I think that one's $49.99. Um, throw blankets for your dog for $9.99. As well as clothing for your dogs. A lot of this doesn't seem all defined type. I feel like this is stuff they have just in the regular aisle. <laughs> so I don't know what that's about. If they're just moving things they've maybe have a sale on or if they just don't have a lot of stuff for the Aldi find aisle. So we'll come back to this side here. Another side table. Sorry, things got really loud. Oh my word. $39.99. Kids table with stools for $39.99. These cute little kid rope baskets for $7.99. Lots of stuff for the kids' rooms. Little kid poof for $19.99. Ooh, those puzzles are pretty. If you are into Aldi gear, they've got backpacks and shoes and pajamas. for the dedicated Aldi fans. Cute acorn candle. These pieces are really pretty. I love all the wood stuff, but nothing I'm picking up. These are beautiful bowls. It says they're pasta bowls. $9.99. Uh, okay, so I'm realizing my hair looks crazy. Not a lot today, but I'm gonna finish up my grocery shopping and then we'll head home and I'll share with you my haul. All right, so full disclosure, it's the next day. I came home from the grocery store and I was in a rush. I had a bunch of stuff to, that came up and things that I had to do. And so I didn't film the haul. And then later that evening, without thinking about it, I started putting food away. And I was like, I didn't even film the haul. So it's the next day and we're gonna go around and try to, I pulled out some stuff and we're gonna try not to forget anything. I'm gonna show you with you what we got. But then this afternoon, well, it's afternoon now, but earlier today, I also went to Walmart. So picked up a few more things that I didn't pick up yesterday when I went to Aldi and Lidl. So I'm just gonna add that in because why not? Um, we, did have some potatoes left from before vacation and those are still in good shape we have some meat in the freezer we have pretty well stocked pantry so that's gonna just help fill out kind of the meal plan um and i will share a meal plan with you this time it's been a while but i'm gonna do that because i'm trying to get back into it all right let's get into the haul all right so we're gonna start with Lidl. i didn't get a lot there i got the mums that i showed you in the store um, and then I got some ground beef. This grass-fed ground beef was $3.99 a pound, and they had a limit of four, so I grabbed four of those. And then I grabbed some pepper jack cheese. I wanted some other cheeses, um, even though we have quite a bit at home, but the pepper jack I was just about out of and mozzarella, um, but Lidl was out of mozzarella. Anyways, they were three for $5, so nice sale. So I got three of the pepper jack because we have plenty of um, the other cheeses that we use, except for mozzarella, but like I said, they were out. <laughs> okay, so moving on to Aldi. I did my best here, guys, pulling stuff out. 
of the fridge and cupboards. Okay, I got a dozen eggs. I got some vanilla almond milk creamer, <clears throat> excuse me, some original almond milk, string cheese. I got a couple blocks of mozzarella, because like I said, we were out. Some ham lunch meat. I got some tissues, because I always buy tissues. I ended up only getting one of these barbecue sauces, even though I showed in the store, I believe, that I was grabbing them all. But they were like really, really sticky. And I was like, I could just take them home and, and I didn't realize until I was checking out. I was like, I could just clean them, but like, what if that stickiness, if there's something leaking, I just, I didn't want to deal with it. So I only got one, unfortunately. Some gallon bags, gallon Ziploc bags. Some English muffins. I do already have one of those <laughs> missing. Some blue corn tortilla chips. You always keep a few of these bags in the pantry. I had like one or two, but I just grabbed another one because occasionally when I go into Aldi, they're like completely out. And um, so I always just like to keep a couple of them on hand. And one box of cereal. And then I did go to Food Lion. I've already washed and put away all my produce, but I picked up some celery and some lettuce. The lettuce is mainly for sandwiches. I, we already have tomatoes. We brought home some tomatoes from vacation. And um, I'm wanting to, I don't like, like celery that much, but I use it a lot in like soups and stuff. So tis the season. It usually will last for a very long time in my refrigerator. Also some fruit we got, this is already again, washed and put away. I got a bag of mandarin oranges and some bananas. There's only a couple left now, but um, we did pick that up as well. All right, so now from Walmart, I have these items here. I got a toilet wand refill. I got the value pack. I totally ran out of these because I left the empty box underneath the sink. So, yep, thought I had them and I didn't. So I picked up some of those. That's like the only like uh, not natural cleaner that I use in my home, but I go with it for the toilets. I got a couple containers of witch hazel. I use this as my face, facial toner, but I also use this to make my own bug spray and I just made a batch of that. So I wanted to pick up a couple of these. Um, I use witch hazel. You can also use distilled water mixed with the witch hazel and essential oils. So uh, I picked up a bag of unbleached all purpose flour, picked up some rolls for my husband's lunches. Picked up some cotton rounds because I'm just about out and some whole carrots and some garlic. This is some organic garlic. I pulled, got this specifically for um, a little natural remedy sickness thing with honey and garlic. I don't know if you've heard about it, but I'm giving it a try. It'll probably be in a vlog, so keep your eye out for that. But um, I could not find these at... Um, Food Lion when I was there yesterday, so I picked those up today at Walmart, and then I picked up some roast beef from the deli for my husband. We don't normally do like the fresh deli meat because it can be pricey, but he had enjoyed this on vacation, and um, so I picked up some more of that for him as well. All right, so yeah, real life forgot to film the haul before I put everything away, so I think I've got everything out. We didn't get a ton because we had some stuff on hand. Um, I think I'd mentioned we had potatoes left over from before vacation. They were still in good shape. So for my meal plan, um, one meal we had when we came home from vacation, we did like a breakfast for dinner. And then we also did some frozen ravioli and made some garlic bread with some bread from the freezer. So we took care of some things before I went shopping. But um, I have some chicken in the freezer, freezer some chicken breast. We're gonna do like a baked chicken with some mashed potatoes and a homemade gravy and steam up some broccoli from the freezer as well. And then I'm planning to do a taco soup. I've got the taco meat, well, ground beef that I bought, but I also have several of those in the freezer and canned goods, beans and corn and diced tomatoes and all that. I already have that. So I try to keep that stuff, you know, decently stocked. We don't go through that stuff a ton. So I don't have like an obnoxious amount of it, but I do keep that stuff on hand. And that will give us leftovers of taco soup well. There's a kind of a hairy, not, I mean, not in a bad way, busy weekend or busy things going on. So I'm not planning a ton for the rest of the week, but we have, like I have a pie crust in the fridge and now I'm drawing a blank, but there's a bunch of things. There's pizza dough in the freezer that we could do pizza or calzones. Um, I have some more chicken in the freezer. So 
we will we will be eating no problem so there's my partial meal plan i'm trying to get back to it trying to get into better habits and um that's gonna do it for today's video if you liked it don't forget to give it a thumbs up i'm usually a little less frazzled but you know it is what it is this time so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and i'll see you next time bye guys